We begin this week with a pair of spacewalking duos outside the International Space Station. The first features Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin. The engineer spent seven hours outside the space station relocating a radiator to cool a multi-purpose laboratory module and installing a new airlock. The two are scheduled for another spacewalk next week. Earlier and still outside the space station, it was NASA astronaut Steve Bowen and the United Arab Emirates Sultan al Nayadi also spending seven hours preparing for the installation of the station's power generation system. The two readied the space station for two new solar arrays set for delivery this year aboard SpaceX's 28th commercial resupply mission to the outpost. Speaking of SpaceX, the private spaceflight juggernaut had a pair of successful launches just weeks after the partially successful launch of its Starship. More on that in a minute. But this SpaceX flight from Florida's Cape Canaveral launched two satellites for telecommunications company SES, which says its hardware will provide broadband connectivity all over the world. Engines full power and liftoff of Viasat 3. Go Viasat, go Falcon Heavy. SpaceX also launched its Falcon Heavy rocket this week, which the company says is among the world's most powerful. SpaceX says the rocket's mission was to carry three satellites into orbit. Now then, back to SpaceX's Starship. The company launched the world's most powerful rocket to great fanfare before it exploded shortly after takeoff. Still, the SpaceX team claimed victory. Environmentalists were not impressed. Conservation groups on Monday sued the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, over its approval of expanded launch operations near a national wildlife refuge in South Texas. The Starship launch hurled debris and shrapnel at least several hundred meters and torched nearly one and a half hectares of nearby ground. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says it also sent a cloud of pulverized concrete drifting more than 10 kilometers. Environmental groups call for a full environmental impact study, which the FAA has not yet done. SpaceX founder Elon Musk said the launch's impact amounted to a human-made sandstorm and said he was not aware of any meaningful damage to the environment. Finally this week, scientists for the first time witnessed a dying sun-like star that swelled for eons before getting so big that it swallowed a nearby gas planet. Scientists say the same thing will probably happen to planet Earth deep into the future when our sun morphs into a red giant in about 5 billion years. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.